Meghan and Harry crawling back to UK in doubt over sign of failure. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry became free to pursue financially profitable deals after they stepped down as full-time working members of the firm in the spring of 2020. Royal commentator Angela Levin believes it very unlikely the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will ever return to the royal fold should they not be successful with their work mainly based in the U.S. The biographer, author of Camilla, from outsider to queen consort, believes King Charles would like to see his younger son come back to the UK as a full-time working royal as he has always loved Harry. However, she doesn't believe Meghan and Harry who stepped down as senior members of the royal family at the end of March 2020 and have since pursued their own charitable work and business deals, including with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, would happily choose to return into the firm. She told Express.co.uk, Well, I am sure King Charles would like, for the Sussexes to return, because he has always loved Harry and if you are a father you will always love your child, although you don't like what they are doing. They would have to step in line which I don't think Meghan would want to do. Referring to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's claims made against the firm in some of their interviews and appearances, Ms. Levin added, I think they would have to apologize profusely, which I don't know if they would do. I personally don't think they will be able to, but if they find that people are not buying their stories, I mean, I don't know how many more stories you can tell about your life, who knows, they might come back. But I don't think they would come crawling back. I don't think they would be welcome in this country either, because it would mean that they failed, really. Express.co.uk has contacted representatives of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at Arch Ewell for comment. King Charles' egg throwing brings back memories of assassination attempt. King Charles's recent reaction to having eggs thrown at him has reminded royal fans of the 1994 assassination attempt in which the new monarch also appeared unbothered. Earlier this week, crowds in York booed activist Patrick Thelwell as he attempted to throw eggs at King Charles. His Majesty appeared calm as the incident occurred and a Lipriator claimed he simply said it's fine, let's carry on as he looked down at the splattered pieces of egg on the ground. King Charles's calm reaction to the event reminded people of his calm composure during his royal tour of Australia in 1994 when the king heard shots but didn't even react. The king stepped out onto a podium at Sydney Darling Harbour when 23-year-old student David Kang shot two blanks at the royal in a demonstration and tried to rush onto the stage. Nobody at the time knew they were blanks, and chaos ensured as several people attempted to cover the king and get him to safety. Mr. Kang has since said his reasoning for the shooting was in protest of Australia's treatment of over 100 Cambodian asylum seekers who were being held in detention centres in the country.
nobody at the time knew they were blanks, and chaos ensured as several people attempted to cover the king and get him to safety. Mr. Kang has since said his reasoning for the shooting was in protest of Australia's treatment of over 100 Cambodian asylum seekers who were being held in detention centres in the country.